G'day. Today's video is just a really small review on the MSI GF65 Thin. This one's running a 10500H, 16 gig of RAM, 500 gig NVMe SSD, 144 hertz display, and also a 3060. In this particular one, it gets listed on the MSI website as 75 watts, but from my testing, it seems to be closer to about 40 or possibly 50 watts in most games. Now, what are my thoughts on this? Battery life, I've been pretty happy with it. For a gaming machine, I can usually extend it to around about three hours of battery life, which should hopefully be enough for most students to be able to get through their work day. The other thing that I found with it, due to that, or due to the lower TDP of the 3060, that also heat's not really too much of an issue, as most of the cooling is actually away from the keyboard. So most of the cooling is around the outer perimeter, so normally over here gets fairly toasty, but the actual keys themselves remain quite cool to the touch. The other thing to note with that, with the lower wattage, is that also fan noise during idle, or also just light web browsing, is usually non-existent, as opposed to other higher end gaming laptops, which I found do get tend to get quite noisy during idle and minimal use. The other thing with it as well, I.O. is not too bad. We've got two USB 3s and two USB Type Cs on this side. And on the other side, we have a single HDMI and power jack. So if you're wanting something that's a bit portable to get around, and also to be able to play most games that are out there, this machine's probably going to tick those boxes quite well. The other thing that you do have with it is that it is reasonably pricey for not a huge amount of performance. Yes, there are higher performing laptops, but you're going to be either paying for it with either money or thermals or battery life. So you'll take your pick from there. But overall, three hours of battery life, Decent gaming performance. I found Cyberpunk 2077. I get anywhere from between 40 and 70 FPS and medium graphics at 1920 by 1080. Counter-Strike Global Offensive, which is the main game that I play on here. Basically, I have everything set to high, 1080 resolution, and I'm usually hitting over about 140 FPS on most game or most matches. Anyway, maybe worthwhile. Do check out other reviews, see what you think of it, but overall, I've been pretty happy with this one. Bye.